up, Wolf Gang? It's your boy Authentic back at it for another reaction. And today we got Timeless Tim when your parent, when your teachers sees the whooping bruises from your parents. Oh God, y'all already know. If you have black parents, y'all know. Well, some, maybe not. Most, yes. Yes, y'all do. Like the video if y'all know what I'm talking about. And you would know what this dude is talking about once we get into it. If y'all are new to the channel, be sure to hit that like, subscribe, and y'all already know what to do. Shout out to the Wolf Gang and beyond. And let's go. Woo! Um, Dad, I need to tell you something. What is it? Well, I kind of, um, sold the game. My dad... Slapped. <laughs> the word punishment is simply defined as the infliction or imposition of a penalty as mm -hmm. an offensive act, or as black people say, an ass whooping. Yeah. Different races punish their kids in different ways, but I feel you. I've seen the comments. Hispanics say they get what way more than black. Oh. Black people saying they have it harder than. <laughs> The shockwave coming from me. <laughs> when you have that shit, when you have, hold up, when you get that belt, you have that shockwave, you just like, like, you just hear that from a distance, and you're just like, you know, someone getting the ass whooped. White agents say they got it the worst. Well, I say, it no, y'all don't go. matter because we all getting our ass beat. Yeah, In my household, the choices were plenty. Switch the multiple. <laughs> you got the switch, you got the belt. You got the extension cord, you got the hanger, you got the, what else? You got the Apple charger, you got the, what else? You got the metal pole, you just want to hear that choice exam, but this time, the choice is yours. Would you rather the choice is yours. <laughs> by switch? We can do this the easy way, or we can do this the hard way. The choice is yours. B, get hit by a bill. C, get <laughs> dislocated an extension cord. D, get drilled by a hanger. Or E, all of the above. Now, from my recollection, the closest object was usually the initial choice, but it also mattered how bad the action was. For example, you forget to do your chores. You better duck my boy. <laughs> you better duck. What the duck. five fingers say to your face? <laughs> Just think about it. You ever seen a black kid talk back to their parents? Son, hand me the rule number one. Do not talk back to your parents, bro. I'm telling you that you do not ever talk back to their parents. They know what they're talking about, kids. Trust me. You do not want to talk back to your parents. Unless you want to see this the soul. Call me out of this dude's face once you hit that, hear that plot. Y'all would know. Y'all will understand that. Trust me, y'all. You do not want to be in this boy's position. That remote. What? Man, I'm tired of it. Oh, my God. Oh, it's just right there. You get it your damn self. Oh, you about to meet Jesus. <laughs> you about to meet Jesus. Me on this one. <laughs> Parents are always calling you to do something they could have easily done by themselves. But you got to do it. Why? Yep. Because they said so. They you know, said so. People, or, this must sound like. Uh, Loki honestly can't wait to have kids just tell them the same thing. Be like, get the remote. You can't get it yourself? Mm -mm. Come get the remote. You can give it to me. I just look at you. <laughs> Oh, I'm so going to be so happy. I'm just going to be like, hey, son, do the lawn. I'm going to be so happy, bro. God damn. Child abuse, which I couldn't disagree more. I can firmly say I've never been abused. Each time my parents whooped me, it's because I did something wrong. My parents' only objective was teaching me good from bad. Simply yep. put, there's consequences to your actions. Yes, so for there this is. Story, I'm going to take you back. Back 
to my preteen years. So I was the playing friends. outside with the homies. Now on this particular day, my friends and I were having an argument on who got the best gaming console. Now here's the problem. See, at the time, I only had the Nintendo 64, which was one of the cheapest consoles to purchase since the PlayStation 2 was the hottest console at the moment. So we started arguing. Yo, Tim, what what you got? Or not the two? Where's the wire with it? I don't want to brag and all, but I got the N64. Damn! You still got that old broke ass console? Damn, y'all broke. I bet you still get free lunch from school, don't you? Now, for those of you who don't know, the PlayStation 2 cost $300 at the time, and at an inflation, she'll be about $476 in today's world. Yeah. I'm sure I don't have to explain to you that asking my hard working parents for a new PlayStation console while I already had a comparable N64 wasn't going to work. So I had to eat these jokes. Damn. Oh, my homies got a PS2. I don't even have a PS1. So fast forward, I get to the crib and ask my mom. She gonna say no. Can I get a new gaming console? New gaming console? What's That's what I was the old one. Dad bought you? Um, nothing. It's just old. Look, son, we don't have any money right now. When we have more money, we'll talk about it, okay? Okay. So I get to my room and started thinking. Right. Hey, these are OG parents, cause they tell you up front, be like, we don't have the money, son. Is, it is the way it is. Y'all don't have the money. It's understandable. Y'all are just hard working. These kids will have to learn. But if these kids start throwing a fit and crying like a baby saying, yo, get that. Oh, they're going to be small brats. They're going to be small brats. Not in my house. Mm -mm. There's no such thing as a small brat in this house. In my house. And without further ado, this is why you don't give them a phone until they're either 14 when they really need it. Hey, great. I'm going to give them a phone, but I don't want to hear Jack saying, Oh, why are you not giving me a son more? Oh, why are you not giving me a son more? Freedom. Why are you? Did I ask? Did I ask? No. Because I know this bullshit she, he about to go through this whole entire time. If he gets a phone, either seven or six. Now, you're not even going to get electronic until he hits double digits. Because, who? I'm going to give him the little small stuff. The small stuff we can't even go with. The one I can keep an eye on him with. But I ain't gonna give him something that's lot let him go online. Cause I do not want to let him meet the Rangers. And by Rangers, I mean game Rangers. Y'all already know what I'm talking about. I'm not putting up the story no more. Let's get back into it. We only been three minutes. Everyone's school's got the PlayStation, so maybe you should trade all your games, get money, and buy the new PlayStation. You ain't gonna get much. Get my N64 and all my you ain't games. Get much. The free market and started looking for a place to trade my games. So after a while, I see a sign on the wall. Sign says games for trades. Okay, cool. Exactly what I was looking for. So I get closer to the counter and see your clothes for lunch sign. Damn, they're going for lunch. Guess I'll just sit here and wait. So a few moments go by and an older man walks up to me. Hey kid, can I help you? Yeah, I'm looking to trade all my games. Oh, really? Let me take a look. So I hand the guy the games. Oh, these are nice. All right, kid. How about $200 for them? Really? Sure, kid. So I give him the games. He goes uh -uh. to the side and That's how with a big stack of 20s and hands it to me. <laughs> I'm rich. Thanks a lot, sir. No, thank you. So I get no, inside and start you. working to the crib. Then halfway through the journey, I decide to open a stack so I can count up my money. Nigga, this fool put twenty dollars on the top and nothing but blank white paper. <laughs> go to these kind of markets, bro. They always be on some shit, shady stuff. This dude got finessed a $20 bill and stacked it with some paper. You are dumb. This is why you count it right in front of him. Make sure you, you're gonna get finessed if you don't know these rules. 
this, 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 this is how the world works. If you don't know the rules, you're gonna get killed. Was underneath. Oh, hell no. Now I'm by the Look back. And but bankrupt. No, 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 no. Where'd it go? So I look to the left, and I don't see him. I look to the right, man's not inside. Boy, oh, dick. Oh, God, this ain't good. So my only option was to stand inside the store and wait for the store owner to come back. A few moments later, the owner walks into the store. Hello, son. Can I help you? Yeah. I'm looking for the man who works here. I work here. No, the other guy. Son, what other guy? I work here alone. Then it hit me. You oh, dumbass. God. I've been scammed. Scam. You've been scammed, bro. I all my games ain't got nothing to show for it. So I get to the crib, got to my room, and waited for my last moments on this earth. So a day goes by, but my dad hadn't noticed it. All right, Tim. Maybe you should go to the store and get them back by shoplifting that new N64. That way, Pops won't notice it. Yeah. You're going to be a shoplifter. When the flea market opens. So right before going to bed, my Pops walks in. Hey, son. I noticed your video game is missing. Uh, yeah, Dad. I let my friend Chris borrow it. Son, that game cost me a lot of money. So bring it back tomorrow, okay? Okay, Dad. What do I you do? You're a dead so man. I to start for the next couple of you days. a dead so man. Game number two comes. Hey, son, did you get back your video game? Um, no, dad. See, Chris wasn't in school today. I'll get it back tomorrow. Get it back tomorrow, okay? Then day number three comes. Here we son, go. I thought I told you to get the game. Um, oh, yeah, dad. Sorry. I got a little busy with some homework. Now, by day number three, my dad was getting a little suspicious. Tim, go get it now. Oh, shit. Okay, Tim, be cool and act like you're going to get it. So I get outside, walk to my homie's Chris's house, knocked on the door, and started acting like I'm asking for my game back. Yo, Chris, <sighs> thank God you're home, kid. I need a favor. Damn, Tim, you look like you saw a ghost. What's up? <laughs> Whatever you do, don't look at my house. My pops is outside the window looking right now. Kid, I need to borrow your N64. What? My Nintendo? Yeah. Sorry, kid. I can't do that. My mom's in the living room right now. Chris, nigga, help me. I need you. Damn, I can't do it right now. Chris, we supposed to be boys. Boy, you ain't about to get me, but, but Chris, bye. So, I'm back. And from the look of my dad's eyes, I knew he beyond dead. No, I've never been one to shy away from Such a danger. friend, goddamn. I can honestly say this is the first time in my life when I was like, nigga, I think it's better you don't go back home. So <laughs> don't go home, me, boy. He comes outside <laughs> and calls me to the crib. So where's the game? So where's the game? Dad, I need to tell you something. What is it? Well, I kind of, um, <laughs> sold the game. My dad slapped <laughs> the soul out of me. You did what? Do you know how much money I spent on those games? I'm sorry, Dad. Sorry. You know what? You're gonna get whooped for every dollar I spent. <laughs> You're gonna get every dollar I spent. <laughs> Knowing that, that'll be like 300. <laughs> That's 300 to 400 whoopings. <laughs> He's so dead, bro. Oh, it's gonna be to be continued. Do we keep going with this? Probably, yeah. Alright, I'm gonna just stop it right here because... Bruh! Bruh! No, bruh! This is just sad. Your brain can't even back you up on that. Come on now. Anyway. That was funny, cause yo, he did that ass. <laughs> he ain't coming out without a red fuck, I'm telling you. Anyway, that's it for now. I have another video after this, but be sure to hit that like, and subscribe, and you already know what to do. Shout out to the Wolf Gang, NBI, and Al Fanning is out.